Welcome to Talk Finance, guys. Today, we're going to go in great detail and talk about how you can stay protected from FTX and BlockFi. Now, we know for a fact that the world is changing right now and the crypto market is literally in shambles. And as the dominoes keep falling, the ripple effect from FTX's epic collapse is spreading to firms across the industry. The latest casualty is the crypto lender BlockFi, which filed for bankruptcy. Although that wasn't a huge surprise given BlockFi's close ties to Sam Bankman Freed Empire. It underscores how FTX's VUs have generated a crisis as afflicting the crypto world as a whole. And obviously in less than a month, the former anchor of the crypto world spiraled into bankruptcy, freezing customer assets and causing prices of cryptocurrencies across the board to plunge. Then came the contagion, which was the strapped retail traders crypto on several platforms lending from genesis has suspended redemption as well and gemini trust corporation is freeing withdrawals from its yield product as well bankrupt firm vulture digital which bankman freed was going to rescue now faces an uncertain future guys even hedge funds at least the ones which had exposure to ftx are also taking a hit so the big question then comes is what happens now the long, painful bankruptcy proceeding, the class action lawsuits, and obviously the further drop in the value of digital coins. While the Japanese subsidiaries of FTX has plans for clients to get their funds back, customers of struggling platforms in other parts of the world, including the US, face months or not even years of uncertainty as the insolvency proceeding grind their way through the courts. Now, for those who still have money in crypto, guys, financial financial advisors say now is the time to take stock and figure out your goals and obviously this is a video for everyone that still has stock and obviously wants to protect whatever crypto they got left and for that reason we say if you're invested in something that doesn't make sense it's important not to allow sunk cost fallacy to keep you in a poor investment guys and for those individuals planning to continue investing in crypto moving to a cold storage is essential this is a digital wallet on a platform that is not connected to the internet. It might be safer than keeping your coins in online exchanges right now, guys. And obviously, for that reason, you should definitely move to a crypto wallet. But unlike normal wallets, which can hold actual cash, crypto wallets technically don't store your crypto. Your holdings live on the blockchain, but can only be accessed using a private key. And your keys prove your ownership of your digital money and allow you to make transaction but if you lose your private key guys you lose access to your money and that is why it's very important to keep your hardware wallet safe or use a trusted wallet provider such as coinbase now crypto wallets range from simple to use apps to more complex security solutions and the main type of wallets that you should definitely choose are hardware wallets where keys are stored in a thumb drive device that is kept in a safe place and is only connected to a computer when you want to use your crypto and obviously it is crucial for you to understand these elements before you invest anywhere because right now it is not looking good for the crypto world and you need to understand the different dynamics before you head forward but if you want to use different types of wallets that is also available such as paper wallets where keys are written in a physical medium like paper and stored in a safe place this of course makes using your crypto harder because as a digital money, it can be only used on the internet. While there are online wallets as well that keys are stored in an app or other softwares. Now look for one that is protected by the two-step encryption guides. I highly recommend those ones. This makes sending, receiving, and using your crypto as easy as using an online bank account, payment system, or brokerage. But the one thing that you should not do guys, keep your crypto on exchanges any longer because right Right now we are in the bloodbath what is happening right now across all exchanges and in the crypto world can be very very dangerous for anyone that still has crypto on exchanges you gotta make sure that you always stay protected and remember guys research research and research that is the common denominator of success for any individual 
that wants to get into this industry. You need to understand what you're investing in. You need to understand when you need to invest and you need to understand when you need to take out your crypto from any exchange and obviously make sure that you make a sound judgment whenever you do so. We're here to support you, to guide you and to assist you. So always make sure that you drop us a comment and ask us any questions you got before you make any sort of move. But remember, we're not financial advisor. So please make sure to do your own due diligence before investing and never invest more than you're willing to lose. If you like the video, guys, do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. Share this video with your friends and with your family so more people can find out what they need to do to stay protected in today's time and period with the different exchanges that are collapsing. Send this video to anyone that still has crypto on exchanges so they also find out what they need to do. Stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.